Hi guys, welcome to another beer review, and uh, today we've got a beer from Manchester, well, from Salford Keys in Manchester. And uh, yeah, we're going over to the Seven Brothers Brewery, and this is their IPA, which as you can see there, says Classic Crisp and Aromatic, 500ml bottle, 5% ABV. Uh, first we mixed hops and malt, then added a touch of extra citrus and grapefruit hops. Why? Because we can, and it makes for a great beer that's bittery rather than sweet. Our philosophy is that beer should not just be for beer geeks or monsters, or beer monsters, it should be for everyone with taste. And what a sentiment that is. Uh, pick us up in my local supermarket, uh, co-op, um, because they're starting to get a nice selection of beers, and I think Robinson's are actually brewing beers for them, with some cool artwork, even though I think the one that's got the, um, is it like called the Manchester IPA or something like that, and it's got the... Um, Salford Lads, Salford Boys Club, or Lads Club, I can't remember. As a Smiths fan, I should have that ingrained in my mind, but um, yeah, they use that in one of the labels, and the people who actually run the place are like, they're not happy that they've used it, and all that sort of stuff. Great pilgrimage, by the way, if you're a Smiths or a Morrissey fan. But um, yeah, so great to see beers available in even like your local, you know, corner shop or mini supermarket type deal. And uh, aside from a slowly developing range of beers, they had uh, a couple of shelves with some more local brews, which is always appreciated because you get to try something that's that could be literally on your doorstep. And for you know, a couple of quid, happy days, you can't really complain. I know people have the concerns about supermarket beer and I've experienced it. I've had beers that have like a year past the sell-by date that have been in a supermarket. You know, you do sort of, Gam play a little bit of a gamble um, when it comes to that in terms of like freshness or the conditioning of the the beers in general. You know how many times you've seen like really dinted cans of beer and stuff like that. <clears throat> but you know if you're into the hobby, you're gonna like look for best before dates and think, oh, this is a hoppy beer. It's a little bit past its prime. Nah, I might pick it up. That sort of thing. But um, it's great to see these beers available. For people who want to get into this hobby want to try something a little bit different they're a little bit sick of what they're drinking and now you can go to your local supermarket and get a really good sort of like beginner's education into the world of good beer so i'm all for it and uh you know being back in the uk i've bought some absolutely wonderful beers just from the supermarkets alone in like the one or two weeks that i've been back but uh, yeah i have had this one before it was about a year or so ago I remember enjoying it, but I can't remember anything about it, to be honest. And uh, I do like that label. Really nice and simple. It's simple, but it stands out at the same time. But yeah, just really nicely presented. And of course, beer in a 500ml bottle is a bonus. So let's get this with the nasty. Not sure why we pick up. I don't even know what that is. That's actually... It looks, it also looks like it's growing on the <laughs> actual bottle opener. Anyway, you don't care about that. Yeah, just throw it on the floor here. Gonna use my Augustina glass for this one. So, uh, yeah, picked something a free for a five pound deal as well. So I'm really enjoying those deals. Look at that. I'm pouring all in so I can get a good sniff. But uh, beer in the glass then, and that's a lovely sort of coppery amber colour. Lovely clarity to it. It actually reminds me of uh, Brewdog's Punk IPA in its appearance, uh, for whatever reason. But yeah, copper, slight rustic tones in there as well, lovely clarity, nice gentle carbonation. Beer poured with about one finger's worth of a white fluffy head, seems to be holding its own nicely. So uh, yeah, let's see what we get on the aroma. And you do get that lovely sort of like subtle citrus character coming through. I am getting a hint of grapefruit, more like a pink, slightly sweetened grapefruit character. It's got that sort of like a slight caramel aroma to it. Sort of like um, you could get those like the like the consistency of a Werb's original, but it's like cream and like a fruit. And it's one of those you know, sort of sweets that you suck on for a little bit, that sort of thing. 
I almost get like a very slight dairy yogurt fruit sort of aroma coming out of this one. Nice and grassy as well. Slight herbal tone. But it's just nice and gentle. Um, it's not in your face or anything like that. It's smelling like a good, palatable, sessionable beer so far. So without any further ado, let's give it a taste. Cheers. And it is nice. Um, it's not the most bitter beer that I've had. And considering that they've said they want to go for more bitterness over sweetness. It's actually a little bit of a role reversal, to be honest. Um, it's got a, a, a lovely sweet tone, almost like a fermented fruit sort of character. Yeah, kind of like when a banana is like very ripe and it's all bruised and stuff and it's a little bit squishy. That's the sort of like flavour I'm getting from this one. Nice gentle prickly carbonation. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of lime. Subtle grapefruit flavour. It's got like quite grape-like fruit characters in this one. And almost like a slight berry note as well. A very easy drinkable. As I said on the nose very palatable nothing too offensive there is that slight yogurty fruit yogurt tartness going on there which is just a little bit of a twang but yeah it's a really nice simple beer I'm not enjoying it as much as i did when i first drank it but then again you can't really compare it to them because I couldn't give you any like tasting notes from eggs, it was just one of those things where I bought a bottle and just drank it. Probably on a hangout or something. But you know what? You know, after a, if you just wanted a few beers for the weekend and you're a bit last minute, say like I'll just pop over to the co-op, that sort of thing. You could do much worse than this. Um it's not the greatest beer in the world. But it's by far a bad beer. And um I've had much more unsatisfying and more well at that more unsatisfying IPAs that have been from really well established and respected breweries for like three times the price that you'd pay for this. So, you know, it has its place. Uh, this would be perfect in like a box of beers for like, you know, your, your uncle or whatever, or if you've got a, you know, one of your kids is getting into to beer. One of those beers that you just bung in like a little box of beers, pull it together, give it to them. It's not going to blow them away. But they're going to have a very satisfying drinking experience. So uh, yeah, that's that's not a bad beer at all. Um, just not remembering. I just I don't know. I remember just absolutely like engulfing uh, the beer the first time I had it. But I don't know. Um, palates have probably changed uh, since then. But yeah, nothing wrong with that IPA. Yeah, so I'm going to give that one a seven out of ten. One I'd happily have again, um, if I just wanted an IPA and not really think about it. Shut my brain off, concentrate on what I'm doing, whether it's a film or with a burger or you know at a friend's house or whatever. It's one of those beers. You don't really contemplate it too much. He says, as he's approaching nine minutes uh, in a beer review. So if you've tried this one, as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. If you've tried anything else from the Seven Brothers Brewery, give me some recommendations. Speaking of which, check them out. I'll put all the links down below. Check out my IPA playlist. Check out my uh, UK craft beer playlist. And of course, if any of my friends or people I follow on a regular basis have brewed this one, then their reviews will be included in the description also. So uh, yeah, very solid beer. Thank you all for watching and hopefully you'll join me next time for another beer review. Cheers.